A the modulus of x plus 2a is greater than 3 times the modulus of x minus a. And uh, in this question, in this inequality, a is a constant whose value is not given. It may be 1, 2, 3, it may be anything, but uh, its value is not given. Now let's move on to solving this. Now, uh, for solving this, we need a few things. If we drew the graphs of these two functions, if we drew the graphs of this function and this function, the two functions, the graphs would intersect at two points. So these two functions will intersect at two points. And we need the values of the points of intersection to work out the solution for this inequality. Uh, actually, we need the values of the x coordinate of the points of intersection that is the x coordinate of the first point of intersection and the x coordinate of the second point of intersection now uh, for finding the points of intersection it's really simple just we have to equate these two functions so if we e equate we get we get look this function is equal to this function just equating and this is x plus 2a is equal to plus minus 3 times x minus a. So if we, okay, the this modulus is equal to this modulus. So this implies that this is equal to the positive value and also the negative value. As you can see, if we take the positive sign, we'll get one point of intersection. And if we take the negative sign, we'll get the another point. So, taking the positive sign, positive sign x plus 2a equals 3x minus 3a. This is, the 3x minus x is 2x, 3a plus 2a, 5a, and x equals 5 by 2a. And if we take the negative sign, x plus 2a equals minus 3x minus minus plus 3a. And this is 3x, 4x, uh, equals... Let's see, 3 minus 2a, 4x equals a over 4. So, one point of intersection is uh, a over 4, which is this one, because it's smaller than 5 by 2a. So, it's 5 by 2a. Now, we have got the points of intersection. Now, all we need is a sign that is either it's going to be greater than or less than now before going that uh, i would like to show you something and it's on quadratic inequalities the reason will become obvious in a while solving we got two points of intersection actions that's this and x will be somewhere in between it may be eh? so we need it if it's a less than or a greater than sign so how do we work this out before uh, Let's go to the quadratic inequality. Let's take x squared minus 4x plus 3. And this time, uh, it's greater than 0. And also, let's take less than 0, greater than 0 then. Now, for the solutions, look here. We need the points of intersection of this line and the x-axis. So, what is... Okay, so this is the x-axis and we need, since look here, the coefficient of x squared is positive, it will be a upright curve. Okay, and we, uh, we need the points of intersection of the curve and the x-axis because, look here, the x-axis, the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0. So, this is y, the function is y equals this, and in order for the points of intersection, we need to equate. So if we equate, look, y equals this, and y equals 0. So the points of intersection will be given by x squared minus 4x plus 3 is greater than 0. So if we factorize this, we get minus 1x minus 3, which I have not done. Now, if we equate this to 0, we'll get the two points of intersection. It's 1 and 3. So uh, the lower is 1, the upper is 3. Now look here, for this one, x squared minus 4x plus 3 is greater than 0. Now which part is greater than 0? Look, this part, 
greater than 3 all the values greater than 3 the y values are positive it's greater than 0 and if look this part every value less than 1 for x is less than 1 and for x is greater than 3 all the y values are greater so uh, look here greater than 0 so we need these two and what's these and what are these these are simply the solution for this is x is less than 1 because look less than 1 is greater than 0 this is 0 and it's greater than 0 another is x is greater than 3 because after 3 it's again greater than 0 and what about this one it's less than 0 where is less than 0 it's it's uh, below this line which is this well this part here and what's this this is x lies between and 3 so if it's greater than 0 we get something like this and if it's less than 0 we get something like this now why did I uh, mention this because uh, this will give you some idea on uh, which sign to give here it's either greater than or less than now uh, you know that is it this prop look modulus equals this now if we use this here we get what's x plus two, root x okay modulus of x is root x squared so the modulus of x plus 2a is root x plus 2a whole squared okay x plus 2a squared greater than what's this just applying this going to be root 3 squared and x minus a whole squared just applying this if x modulus of a, modulus of x is equal to root x squared then modulus of x plus 2a is going to be root of x plus 2a squared and modulus of this is going to be root x squared now let's solve this just look at the x terms if we square both sides the root will uh, be cancelled and look what's this on this side you will get x squared yeah x squared plus something and on this side you will get this is 9 9 times x squared you get 9x squared yeah so we get x squared on this side and 9x squared now I have not uh, involved the other uh, factors in between other uh, things in between now this is 0 is greater than 9 minus 1 8 x squared and this is what this 8x squared is less than 0 it's just something else in between which I have not mentioned so we get a quadratic inequality like this in the form of at x squared plus I guess something is less than 0 now look here if it's less than 0 we find that the solution will lie between the points of intersection look here points of intersection the solution will lie between therefore you can see x squared at x squared it leads us to 8x squared is okay, 9x squared it leads us to 8x squared less than 0 since there's a less than sign the solution for this inequality is less than because look less this there is less than and for less than the solution will be in this form but uh, let's say if we got at x squared is something the equation is greater than 0 and look here if it's greater than 0 it's gonna be x is less than the lowest value and x is greater than the highest value for so if uh, we got that uh, we got at x squared is greater than 0 we the solution would be x is less than the lowest value the lowest value is a by 4 and x is greater than the highest value that's by 2a so this is how we solve uh, uh, modulus inequality first of all equate them to get the points of intersection and to work of the sign it's greater than or less than you just uh, take a brief moment to see 
the coefficient of it x to see the coefficient of x squared is either greater than or less than so just this is going to be x squared this is going to be 8 9 x squared and you get 8 x squared is less than 0 for example let's okay, so let's take about this okay we, okay we have already found the points of intersection let's say and we need the sign now this is just look this is 9 x squared is less than 25 x squared so we get 25 minus 16 x squared is greater than 0 so look there's greater than sign therefore now look if there's a greater than sign x will be less than the lowest value and x will be greater than the highest value so uh, we have already found the points of intersection let's say and then since there's a greater than sign if the let's say the points of intersection are 5 and 7 it's going to be x is less than the lowest and x is greater than the highest value and if uh, let's this is 2 if this is 2 we get 9x squared is 4x squared and we get 5x squared with another less than 0 and since there's a less than sign in this quadratic inequality so there's a less than sign so if there's a less than sign the x will lie between the points of intersection so if the points of intersection are 5 and 7 it's going to be 5 7 now what do you okay let's say so let's say if there's a greater than or equal to sign it's going to be let's look so if it's in the quadratic inequality if there's a less than or greater than it will be either less than or greater than and if there's a this equal to just put it in the answer so if it was this just put that line underneath I hope this trick helps. Uh,